Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something I've seen a few different YouTubers do and I really like the concept of the video and I love watching them because it gives me really good tips when it comes to buying luxury handbags. So I've kind of put together my five not really tips but stages before I buy a luxury handbag. Um, and I want to share them with you. There's some great videos that talk about this and, you know, I love watching them all because everyone has the same kind of tips, but they all vary in the order or in the way they do those certain tips or suggestions or steps to buying a handbag. So I thought I would give you my view on what my steps are when it comes to buying a handbag. Um, if you don't already, um, I will make sure I link all my social media channels down below so you can come and follow me on Instagram. Um, I don't really post on Twitter, so I'm not going to promote my Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got to my right uh, my computer and it's got a few steps on there. And the reason it's on my computer is because I'm using my phone in front of me as my viewfinder. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and let's get started. So the first step or the start of the process of buying a luxury handbag starts for me when I see a bag that makes my heart sing. And I swear I never used to want so many things or handbags or shoes until Instagram came along. And I know Instagram has been with us for a really long time, so that is nothing new. However, now you're just able to see all different designs of handbags and everything that's going on with a click of the finger. I know obviously lots of brands have websites and, you know, social media channels, but a lot of the time, for example, with Chanel, you go on their website and yes, you can see a, quite a large selection of what they have on offer that season, but you can't see very much of that. I mean, there must be quadruple the amount of colors and sizes and styles if not more than what they show on their website. They kind of just pick some of the key pieces or I guess the most popular pieces, but they definitely don't show every piece. And if they do, I'm crazy because I can never find the bags I usually buy on their website. Um, so yeah, social media is where the first step of my luxury handbag uh, step starts. I tend to find one or I will also, the other way I will see one is if I'm in store. Um, and I tend to go in stores a lot more when I'm away or on holiday just because I have more time to do it and really kind of enjoy the experience. So that is my first step. So the second step comes uh, into researching. So when I become obsessed with a bag, my YouTube search bar definitely knows what bag I'm interested in because I look at every single review video I can find. I look at blog posts, I put in the style of the bag plus blogger so I can see different ways of styling it, how other people are wearing it. Um, I look at it on Tumblr or Pinterest if I can, or if it's a bag that hasn't been seen lots on social media and I might have just seen it, you know, while searching in the search bar on Instagram where you get to see people post that you might be interested in that bar down the bottom. I don't know what that's called. Um, but that is kind of where my search, uh, begin, like the second step is. I start to research the bag and I also love going on Purse Forum. Oh my gosh, if you haven't got the Purse Forum app on your iPhone or whatever phone you have, you need to get it. I'm subscribed to so many different threads. It is beyond ridiculous. I don't know. I think I'm subscribed to like each month there's like a Chanel thread so you can purchase, like show your Chanel threads. Like, I mean Chanel purchases. Um, I think I'm on the Pochette Matisse uh, thread so I can see all the different styles that come in every season. Um, I think I'm on the Cartier thread. I'm on, uh, you know, so many threads. And I love reading them. I mean, I never usually post in them, but the information people post is so interesting. Whether it's sizing, uh, whether it's uh, wearability of the bag, whether it's, you know, just all different facts about different handbags, different styles. And it's so good if you ask a question. Everyone is so, so helpful, which I really love. So that is my second step. Do your research. So my third step really involves questioning myself. So I go through my wardrobe. I ask myself, is this bag seasonal? Um, you know, what are the pros and cons of this bag? Do I have bags that are a similar style to this bag? 
Um, you know, I really weigh up everything about this bag and that also comes to helping me pick a colour if there's multiple colour options for the handbag. Um, you know, if there's different sizes, I look at what other sizes I mostly use in my bag collection or what I'm lacking in sizes and what I might want in my collection to make it a more varied collection. There's just so many questions that I ask myself. It is beyond ridiculous. But I think if you ask yourself all those questions, you're less likely to make an impulse buy that you might feel you want to um, sell on a few months or a year later. So after I've finished annoying myself and not being able to sleep for many hours every single night, um, I kind of give myself also like a few weeks to kind of think over the bag. And if I'm still thinking about it, I know that it's something I need to add to my collection. Um, you know, there's so many things I see on Instagram. I'm like, oh my god, I want that! And then literally a week later, there's something else I want. So I don't try and buy the bag straight away. If it's meant to be, it will be. End of. <laughs> anyway, so that moves on to tip, why am I holding up five fingers? That moves on to tip number four. Now tip number four is cost. Or step. Should we say step number four is I look at the cost per wear. Um, so obviously when you're looking at um, handbags are super, super expensive. Let's say Chanel. I mean, every brand has more expensive bags, but I know, for example, for me, when I'm buying a Chanel handbag, a lot more thought maybe goes into it because for me, out of my bag collections, Chanel are more at the high end of the price point um, when it comes to buying a bag. And you know what? That does, you know, all come into my decision process of when it, I decide to buy a bag. Because obviously, if I'm buying a $1,500 Louis Vuitton bag, um, I might not think about it as much. Obviously, that is still a huge amount of money. And, you know, I think about every bag the same way as I'm describing to you now. But, you know, if I'm a bit on the fence and go, oh, I really want to add this to my collection. Um, if it's a little cheaper, sometimes that can make my decision a little easier, if that makes sense. Um, where if it's a really expensive handbag, like we're talking the three to 3000 I mean, anything's expensive, but like, you know, when it goes above 3,000 pounds, you really need to start going, okay, is this something I need in my life? I mean, you never need it, want it, you know, um, and what am I going to use it for? And so it's kind of a mixture of three and four together. Like there's a lot of questions still, but I really think about the cost and, uh, if I need that bag really in my life. I also just want to quickly interject and apologise for the lighting in this video. The Melbourne weather is going crazy and it's going sunny and cloudy, sunny and cloudy. So lights going on, shutters off. So I'm sorry if it gets a bit bright or a bit dark in this video, but I was a little bit on the side of struggle. Um, it was hard for me to get the lighting right. But anyway, let's move on to the final tip, which is tip number five. Or step, I don't know if I'm saying steps or tips. It's kind of both. The steps and tips. Anyway. Um, it is finally in store and <laughs> I know that sounds really trivial, really stupid and you're probably like that's not a step or a tip or it's not definitely not a tip but a step, yes it is because I have had moments where I've thought about the bags for a couple of weeks or a month and then try to find it in store and catch you later Chloe, it was seasonal or we don't have it in stock or there's a wait list. And so I really think that's half your battle. And with step five, finding your perfect or dream bag, um, I want to stress the importance that if it is meant to be with a lot of things in life, it will be. And, you know, nothing's impossible. You can find that bag. You know, sometimes that's why the pre-loved market is so good. Um, now, I have been asked also to, uh, a lot of times to do like a pre-loved kind of video and whatnot. And the reason I haven't done that is because I actually don't own anything pre-owned. Um, I definitely want to, but I've been really lucky in the sense that when I've looked to hunt down for something, I find it. And then if it's something that's seasonal, I always wait for something else that will be similar or better. And so that's why I haven't gone on the pre-loved market. But I think the pre-loved market is amazing. And I know that someday soon there's going to be something on there that tickles my fancy that I will pick up. Um, but yeah, so stage five is definitely finding that bag or step five because sometimes you have to hunt really hard um, and you might even have to get someone to help you out 
Um, oh, I have friends that will be like, oh, I found that bag that you wanted in store. And I'm like, hold it, wait, I'm coming. <laughs> so, you know, it's, you know, step five is really finding that bag that you love and making sure it really makes you happy and warm inside when you see it. Because there's no point spending a lot of money on a luxury handbag if you know, every time you see it, you don't get a little bit excited inside. So I hope you kind of liked my version of this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, leave a comment giving me some of your steps or your tips when it comes to luxury hair bags and when you buy them. I would love to hear them. Um, but I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.